Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rantway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 26, 2023. Oh boy, we had a rough day yesterday. Um, more selling coming into the market, adding a little bit more fear and uh, pushing us back down toward recent lows. Even the IWM um, even made new lows on the day. Um, if we take a look at what happened overnight, we had Asian markets mostly lower. Shanghai uh, managed to pull out um, just a little tiny win, up 0.48% after um, their huge stimulus package trying to move things along there in China, but not gaining any traction. Um, um, Australia um, shares closed at a one-year low. However, the uh, European markets this morning are lower across the board. Standard Charter is uh, selling off strongly. And um, there is the concern, I guess, out there that the ECB is going to continue to hold rates steady. Oil prices, we had a little bit of um, increase in supplies on the petroleum status number yesterday, and oil prices are just slightly lower uh, this morning as a result of that uh, trying to hold in there steady. Unfortunately, bond yields are, are not helping out. Um, our bond yields are moving up ever so slightly. As a matter of fact, the 30 years at 5.08, the 10 year is at 4.95, and the two year is ticking higher to 5.12. So and not good on those bond yields. That's gonna continue to create pressure in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, try to remove some bias, and see if we can figure out how the market might, uh, how we might want to approach the market for today. Let's take a peek here. You can see we pushed down uh, yesterday from this resistance in the chart, and we're looking to push on lower here this morning. So if the bears continue to find that inspiration after all the data that we've got coming today, we'll wanna watch this pretty closely because a failure down through this level could be rather critical and that could push the diamonds into a new low situation and maybe we're going to come back here and test the lows from a may june area in the chart uh, on the diamonds if the bulls were to find inspiration we might be able to kick off of this with a little bit of good data here today kick off of this support area and then start moving up and see if we can retest some of these resistance levels and then perhaps that downtrend. Um, if we look at our moving averages in here, well, clearly our moving averages are pretty darn bearish. You can see our 34 exponential moving average here has crossed down through in the 200 day and our 50 day moving average is moving in that direction quickly, uh, probably by next week, that'll be a cross down. Um, and we're creating a massive resistance area in the chart, uh, accumulation of all these moving averages in that area. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY, also rough day yesterday, made a new low, uh, pushing down through the prior here just a couple of days ago. And you can see we're looking at a gap down lower here this morning as big tech suffers some pretty heavy selling here in the market. Um, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, that's a, you know, when we run up too fast, that it doesn't, uh, well, let's talk about that when we get over there with the QQQ. As you can see, um, breaking this down here in the chart, so if the bears continue to find inspiration, if we look for the next levels of price support in the chart, we might catch a little bit right about here where we're gapping down to this morning. You can see there's some uh, quite a bit of price action support in there, but if that were to fail, 
I'm going to suggest that possibility that we come on in down to the lower side of these and you can see through the, those bottom areas right there in the chart where we might catch some price support. Um, could be pretty ugly if we start dropping down through those levels. Let's uh, maybe keep our fingers crossed that we can get something in the data that's bullish and we can get a little relief off of this area in the SPY. Uh, technically in the chart, pretty ugly here as well. Moving averages um, coming down pretty fast. As you can see, we broke our 500 day moving average yesterday, crossing on lower. Um, yeah, pretty rough situation here in the market. If we take a look at our QQQ, it suffered the most yesterday. Finally, um, after testing this level down in here several times, well, we gave it up yesterday. Um, big old reversal here, uh, pushing through to new lows, and you can see a gap lower here this morning. Could be fairly substantially painful uh, for those that are overly long in that sector. Now, there may be a little teeny tiny bit of support right here in the chart, but it is small. And if that support were to break here, then I think we could move down really sharply and quick. And you'll notice there is not much support here in the chart. The real support is down here. And unfortunately, if we take a look at our QQQ technicals, you could see that a quick drop into the 200 day would take us down into that low level right there off that little top right there um, down to test the 200 day and if that slips and we come to the 500 day well we're coming right down into those low areas that I just showed you in the chart maybe just a touch higher so fingers crossed for you bulls out there that it holds this level right here um, technically as you can see pretty ugly um, everything coming on down and I think there's a pretty good chance now that 200 days is going to be tested here in the QQQ. If we take a look at our IWM it is still the weakest of the indexes in fact what a bad looking chart and I suggested a, a chance that we could push down in here and test these lows of 2022 and uh, we did it um, all the way down there and this morning we're talking about breaking of the that level. If that level were to break Break here in the IWM and push on lower you can see uh, well maybe our next level of support might be somewhere right in there right across these tops in the chart somewhere in that level might be the next area that we could test here um, in the chart that's down there about 158 be a pretty painful move if that were the case so yeah just uh really be careful here and technically uh, this is dismal on um, iwm um, we've got the five or 50 day well down through the 200 now um, all the moving averages stretching out to the downside. What I will say is this is a very oversold chart. And if we can catch any kind of a break in some of the data, perhaps we can get a relief to the upside. Well, um, taking a look at our VIX, our VIX, we found a little bit of fear yesterday with the um, uh, futures looking lower here this morning. I would expect that that's going to pop a little higher here um, at the open. Of course, we've got a lot of data coming out before that, so watch that closely. And you'll want to note that um, we did do okay yesterday holding below this level in the chart, and this level runs across there quite a ways, as you can see. Um, at least we held below that. If that were to fail, and push on through, we could really start to see a bit of panic coming into the market. And um, I don't want to suggest that this is going to happen at all, but we could be re reaching that watershed event where everybody just bails 
and runs for the door um, if if this really starts to drop through these levels so if the bulls can hold on and push back here with some of the data then perhaps we can hold into this area maybe be down here testing trend or maybe some of these recent lows here in the market if we were to get some really good data and potentially kick off a short squeeze then i would look for this to come down pretty sharply if we take a look at our t21 22 our t2122 indicator and you know i still get lots of questions on this indicator but it really is a fairly simple indicator it's just measuring the uh, it's a ratio of the new highs and new lows in the market and it gives us those indications here when we're in an oversold area and an overbought area. And clearly we're in an oversold area. This is a bullish reversal zone in here. And we continue to see that pressure and selling and the push down this morning is likely going to close this gap, uh, push us back down here towards zero in T2122. However, if um, the data today can provide some inspiration, we certainly have lots of upside opportunity if those bulls can um, fire up here and get something going in the market. No guarantee that that's gonna happen, though, um, taking a look at the data out there. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 just really wasn't impressed yesterday. Uh, moved slightly lower. The good news is, if there's any good news, is we didn't break uh, to new lows here in the chart. Um, remember, um, with the push we have this morning, um, if that holds into the open, there are more levels down here that we could test down here around 10. No reason to believe that that's not possible. And you can even see in the pandemic, we went lower than that. So it is possible that we drop down through there now as we start if we can start rallying back up you'll want to note some of these resistance levels as we push on through uh, potentially uh, in a relief rally back to the upside so watch that our uh, t2107 also a new lows on the day we've broken all of these support levels and we continue to push on down. Now, if there is some good news, we're coming into a little bit of price support here. Um, if we can hold in that area, maybe catch a bounce, um, come back up and at least test the, um, the downtrend here as resistance. If uh, we continue to fall, just note that we certainly have the ability to go significantly lower here in T2107. And then our T2101, um, this is bad news for us yesterday in the fact that as we were selling yesterday, the breadth actually broke that downtrend resistance. The selling is picking up in energy here. So if that continues to extend here on the sell side of the market, that again, that's where that panic spike could potentially come into the market. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now our economic calendar, we definitely have a lot on the calendar to be thinking about here this morning. First off, we've got durable goods orders. Durable goods orders are expected to come in better than last month, um, which probably doesn't um, make the Fed very happy. Um, a, a very big number today is going to be the GDP, and I mean a big number. Um, estimates are as high as 4.5%, which is double, more than double, last reading, which is probably going to be seen by the Fed as a bad number and a very hot number for this economy. So um, watch that carefully here today. And then we've got international trading goods. Um, the trade gap is expected to widen um, by the consensus in here. So uh, watch that one today. And then jobless claims. And we know how problematic those have been. The last two jobless claims numbers 
have actually declined in claims and we have seen those numbers miss uh, to the downside. Um, what the Fed obviously wants to see is those numbers increasing and so far that is not the case, suggesting that we still have a major inflation problem and unlikely that they're going to back off on rate increases if that continues to hold like that. Now, keeping in mind, um, we've got uh, retail sales inventories, hotel sales, uh, uh, wholesale sales inventories. Um, we've got Waller speaking here today. Pending home sales will be coming in and natural gas report. After that, we've got a few bond auctions and we've got the Fed balance sheet. Just kind of keep in mind, after we get through all of that, the pressure is not off. We're going to be jumping right into the Fed's favorite number Friday morning before the bell. That is the core PCE number that measures inflation. Watch that closely. The good news is, if there is any good news, is the consensus is suggesting that has eased. So watch that closely. We've got bar and we've got consumer sentiment on Friday. On the earnings calendar, well, holy moly, we have a huge day of earnings today. No way I can cover them all. I did make a major mistake yesterday. I got my list um, of, uh, of earnings kind of crossways, and I said Amazon was gonna report after the bell yesterday. Um, that's not the case. Amazon is reporting um, after the bell today. So keep an eye on that one. We're also going to hear from Altria here today. Um, we've got uh, Boston Beer in there reporting. We're going to hear from um, Bungie. We've got um, thing uh, reports from Harley Davidson and Hershey and Honeywell today. Um, Intel will be in here today. We're going to hear from J Juniper today. Um, jumping forward, we're going to have uh, reports from Masco and MasterCard uh, to be paying attention to. Uh, BTU will be reporting today. Um, we've got Seagate reporting today. Tractor Supply reporting today. Oh, that's not looking so good. Um, U.S. Steel will be on the list. Um, Weight Watchers and Warehouse are just a few. And if you want a uh, full list of the notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables for today. A lot of things going on here this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I appreciate it a ton. I truly, truly do. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks that may be setting up, but I got to tell you guys, it, it is a very, very dangerous market right now. And um, I would probably more than anything, uh, make the recommendation until we start to see some improvement in the price activity of the market to stand aside rather than trying to squeeze something out of this unless you're an intraday trader and very adept at quick in and out trades. For example, I trade the futures uh, on a very, very fast chart intraday. And I gotta tell you, yesterday, it was just so junky. I, I didn't trade a thing yesterday in futures. So just be really, really careful. Now, that being said, we are starting to see some signs of stocks, particularly in the discount uh, retail sector, um, starting to show some signs of bullishness. We may be catching a little bit of a higher low here in um, uh, Dollar Tree, trying to find some support in here. Keep an eye on that. 
uh, Dollar General has been putting in a pretty nice pattern you can see popped on through yesterday for that upside move trying to hold that price support there may be some upside opportunity certainly um, to be paid attention here after breaking the downtrend um, seeing some signs in like Macy's trying to come up and hold a little bit of a higher low in here maybe struggling with this resistance but that opportunity that that could pop through here on that retail side walmart did a little bit of a pullback yesterday after two really strong upside days um, pushing back through this resistance area in the chart now a pullback or rest in here would set up that next opportunity to the upside so keep an eye on those here in some of that um, retail sector you know if you look at stocks like um, tj maxx um, this is actually setting up as a possible short. We've got a little bit of upside move, but notice we've got a lower high here in the wedge, breaking down, rallying up, failing at that resistance. I would watch that carefully for a potential short. If we take a look at some other areas of the market, uh, Merck has reported its earnings today, and um, Merck did a good job on its earnings today, but we're still showing some bearish pressure here. Um, in this and that possibility that we could continue this move south here in Merck watch that uh, watch that pretty closely we saw you know I know there was a lot of hope that Disney was finally coming around to the upside but Disney hit this major resistance area continued to sell off we're about uh, back at the at the lows here of the market um, and there is a possibility that that could just continue to sink on lower. It's going to report on 11.8. There are um, just an awful lot of ugly charts out there. If we look at our transports, ugh, uh, bad, bad, bad. Um, if you follow the old Dow theory, this is not good for the market. Um, our transports are uh, clearly struggling here, been moving in a very, very sharp downtrend and continuing to stretch on lower. So be kind of careful here in the market. If we take a look at um, utilities, utilities have had a recent rally to the upside. Trying to put in this higher low in here, you might want to keep an eye on utilities. There may be an opportunity here for this to start breaking through and moving on higher, but pretty rough um, overall. And then of course, uh, we had um, a Meta report um, last night, and Meta, um, although it beat on earnings, is gapping substantially lower here this morning, breaking down through some support areas. So what we'll have to start watching on some of these big techs is any rally back could set up the next potential short in those charts. Stocks like um, AMD continuing to move lower, broke back down into this downside channel, looking ugly. We had that chance up here. We broke out. We're trying to hold. Yeah, nope. We're continuing to move on lower. Um, Intel is going to be reporting today, and this is horribly bearish at the moment, breaking support levels in the chart coming into some additional support. If there's any um, you know, silver lining out there, it might be Apple um, in the big techs um, trying to hold onto this support. You can see we're gapping through it this morning, but trying to rally right back. Watch that carefully, trying to hold in there. And even Nvidia uh, gave it up yesterday, pushing down. Um, hard from that resistance or trying to find out whether this supports going to hold here in the chart if that fails boy um, Nvidia has got some potential downside that could be substantial so watch that area carefully if you're a fan of Nvidia so some pretty ugly uh, charts out there um, in the market not looking good Roku returning to a sell here um, in in the chart. So a lot of the consumer based um, stocks out there are showing lots and lots of trouble. Um, you'll want to keep in mind that our dollar is continuing to strengthen and what's odd about that is we continue to see a flight to safety in gold and silver. Keep an eye on those. They're holding up well in anything 
in the, the in the miners. Um, this is some of the majors here. GDX holding up well. You can see stocks like um, uh, Berry Gold holding in here on nice buy patterns, and then even the juniors. Um, are holding into nice bullish patterns here, trying to hold higher lows. So um, a bit of a flight to safety as we continue to see this pressure in the market. So be very, very careful. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Be careful out there. Be safe, everyone. Trade wisely. And I will see you right back here on bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the very, very best.